scene. And uh, I'm confident we'll find these people and bring them to justice, but that's, that's obviously step number one. Now, City Council member Yvette Simpson also took to Twitter to send prayers to the victims. And she's joining us here live on Good Morning Cincinnati. Good to see you, Councilwoman. Good to see you both. Um, so police, of course, are working to arrest those responsible and bring them to justice. We right. know that that's job one. Well, what's the response going to be today from City Council? You know, like in all situations like this, we'll evaluate the situation in law and public safety at 10 a.m. We'll get an updated report from the administration. Uh, we'll take a look if there's information about what happened in the club, the security protocols in the club, uh, whether changes need to be made. And my understanding is that the owner is being cooperative in those changes. Uh, we are gonna assess exactly what happened and make some recommendations. Um, I wanna look at the bigger picture, how we prevent these things from happening in the future. We know we've got a challenge with too many guns in the hands of people who don't need them. Um, I'm glad that the governor has spoken out because some of the most recent regulations that have come down from the state have made that job harder, like allowing people to bring guns into places where alcohol is being served or on college campuses. We need to roll that back. Uh, we need to make sure that we have interventions for our young people. Conflict resolution is something that I've been working on with a lot of our kids. And we got to deal with the emotional challenges that people face when they are in these environments and they pick up a gun and you've got an explosion. I call it a powder keg. So we've got to do all of that. I think most importantly right now we're sending our prayers to the family, uh, the families of individuals who were injured and the individual who was who was murdered. Uh, this has been a, a, a problem, certainly a concern for a number of years. It has. And, and people have, have talked about employing many of the things uh, that you just talked about. Uh, it, it's, but does there need to be a, a maybe a, a, a resetting of uh, how we uh, tackle these kinds of uh, issues in our community? Yes, absolutely. We've had a few really kind of difficult shootings over the last few weeks. You might remember the individual who was driving and hit the four-year-old and the response mm -hmm. of the individual who just comes out and shoots the driver. I mean, that to me just says we need to take another look at how we're looking at the way people um, deal with conflict, the way people deal with stress. Uh, who has these guns? Where are they coming from? What makes people believe that it's okay to shoot someone in response to some of these situations, which aren't situations where we should be shooting people? Uh, and again, we need to take a look at these regulations. We are, we are making it more easy for individuals to have guns in these situations. Of course, in this case, the club owner was making sure people didn't, was trying to make sure people didn't have guns. But our law- guns got in there, though. Yeah, but our law right now allows people to bring guns into establishments where people are drinking. That's mm -hmm. not okay. So, so technically, we have, so, so certainly the security of the, the building has to be evaluated. And we um, and the owner has, has said they will open up their their uh, bar to to those investigations. It's my understanding that they have cameras, so that yeah. surveillance footage will be evaluated. We need to make sure the perimeter of that building is secure. There's a back entrance or a back fence uh, at the back of that establishment. So those are all the things we'll be talking about today. I think the bigger picture is how do we make sure that we get ahead of this? What are the reasons yeah. that people do this? The one question we never ask when this happens is why. We always say we're gonna get the bad guys, we're gonna bring them to justice. Mm -hmm. We never say, why did this happen in the first place? When we get these individuals in custody, we say, what made you do this? How did you get here? I don't believe people are born this way. I don't think that people grow up this way. I think something happens. And I don't wanna be chasing shootings mm -hmm. for the next however. I, it just breaks my heart to be responding to these things. And, and all you can say is, we're praying and we're gonna bring the people to justice. I believe these things are preventable. And I've been working to get a new model here to the city of Cincinnati, the violence prevention model, that I think will make these less likely to happen. And unfortunately, we're gonna have to leave it there, but yeah. we'll be looking forward to hearing from you again.